I mean, my kids get their faces painted at birthday parties. Is there a color scheme that we need to run by male Karen before? I think male Karen needs to leave this child alone and worry about his own children, if he has any. At least this little boy's dad's taking his son to a game and spending quality time together, which is a lot more than we can say about a lot of fathers in this country whose faces are all types of colors. Here now, OutKick host Charlie Arnold. Charlie, we were going to have you wear a headdress and red and black face oh, paint. Oh, I wouldn't want to offend anyone. <laughs> would you have done that, or would that have been a dumb idea? I, if there was something to be celebrated, listen, I lived in Kansas City for several years. I was a local news reporter in Kansas City, and I was at Chiefs games. You even alluded to it. People go all out they there. They go to nuts. See, to see people with full body paint, headdresses on, doing the tomahawk chop, which also, by the way, the left has tried to cancel, saying that it's another form of racism. Uh, it's just commonplace in Kansas City. What this boy did, he did absolutely nothing wrong. Uh, I didn't wake up this week thinking, you know what, I need one more piece of evidence of how deranged and delusional the leftist media is. But here we are. We have it, and yet they have taken it to another level. Who would have thought they could have so done it? They had the one guy's face. He had black near the eyes. Okay, so there's the eyes. Is that, is that wrong? Can you not do that? Can there not be... I mean, this guy is clearly ask, trying to imitate a Native American warrior. Those are the colors, the team's color schemes. And the guy didn't even say that the other side of the face was red. Well, that's the problem is to this Karen J. Phillips. He doubled down upon getting the community notes when Elon Musk called him a racist and a, de a deceptive liar. Uh, he still decided to put out another note on X saying, you know, even if you saw that his other side of his face was red, this is still just as bad, if not worse, because you're also now like somebody who says that they hate Hispanics but then wears a sombrero on Cinco de Mayo. I have no idea well, what that means. how does he know people that were defending this kid hate Hispanics? No one hates Hispanics. Uh, and, and, and what's wrong with wearing a sombrero on Cinco de Mayo? Listen... Karen J. Phillips is nothing but a race-baiting hack. You already mentioned several of the examples of his lengthy track record. Uh, even last year, calling white people white supremacists because, in his words, they were watching an NBA game while blacks were being murdered in the street. This is exactly his M.O. He is looking to incite people, and unfortunately, in the situation, it completely worked. We had another well-known idiot also chime in with Dan Lebitard saying that this completely goes against the NFL's vow to end racism. People were completely jumping on board. Do you think this kid should sue Deadspin and maybe walk away with five million bucks? I think, I think, I, I actually, I, I, I hope, I hope they have already retained the most powerful lawyer that they can find, and I hope that they put Deadspin into bankruptcy for the second time and put them out of business for good. So if this boy had dressed up as Tinkerbell oh. and gone there, oh. that would have been fine. Apparently, to mail Karen. Oh, Karen would have still put out an article, but it would have had a completely different spin to it. Uh, Deadspin, if you will. Uh, Deadspin is just... You remember when Deadspin used to be cool? No. When it first came out, Deadspin was actually a cool place to get your sports news. Not anymore. It has gone completely woke. But you're right. If this little boy would have had on a dress, a blonde wig, he would have been celebrated. Karen J. Phillips <laughs> would have touted him as a national hero. Uh, but because he wanted to celebrate his team... Uh, he was proclaimed as a racist. And, and how sad is it? Trying to ruin a kid's life. Did you ever wear a headdress and paint yourself when you went to a Chiefs game? No, I did not. It actually is... So you weren't really a hardcore fan? No, I was not a hardcore fan. I was just trying to stay warm. It gets very cold at Arrowhead. <laughs> so I just wanted to stay warm. You were warm. one of those crazy guys in... that, like, doesn't wear anything and just paints his whole body? No, that is, that is, that is not the life that I live. Okay, not, not yet, at least. Okay. All right. <laughs> well, maybe next time we'll have a headdress for you. I would love that. All right, we'll see. We'll see what Karen J. Phillips has to say about it. He's not going to like that at all. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.